This is Joseph Barone, the CEO and Corporate Learning Consultant with A Fool for Learning. And once again, for our final podcast, I'm joined by Bruce Cotting, a realtor with Arla. Bruce has been an agent for nine years, six of those with Arla. And so I'd like to welcome you today, Bruce. Thank you, Joseph. Happy to be here. In our last podcast, we discussed how you use podcasts to never stop learning. That's kind of one of those hallmarks of excellent customer service. You never, never stop learning to keep yourself at the top of your game. And in our last podcast, you also touched upon the, the podcast that you listen to. And in this podcast, I'd like you to kind of expound upon each of those a little bit for our listeners, why you chose those, not just simply because it may be a, a top realtor, but maybe what more do you get out of it? What what really draws you to them? And so, Bruce, I'm going to turn over the microphone to you to tell us about our your podcasts. Perfect. Thank you so much. So the first one that I mentioned in our last conversation was Tom Ferry. And again, he is uh, really focused on the real estate marketplace. The reason that I listen to Tom Ferry is because he's going to share insights from top producing agents across the nation, get, give you little insights into how invaluable video marketing is, how important it is to know the statistics I referenced in our first podcast, to know your market. So he really dives uh, deep into each of those conversations and shares what's working from the best of the best. And that's uh, really invaluable as an, an a individual agent to be able to pick up those insights and those practices that help sharpen the the product offering that I'm uh, putting out for my clients. So that's Tom Ferry. And let me just ask you a thing, because you said something in, in description of description of Tom Ferry about video. Is, is video really a make or break for an agent today? Or is that kind of like one of those things that, that sets you apart from all of the other agents? It will definitely help set you apart from all the other agents. Um, and the answer as far as is it make or break really depends on who your your target client is. So when I'm, when I'm working with uh, the boomer generation, the video may not be important for them, but certainly for millennials, it's a great way to immediately jump out in the marketplace. Now that's talking about video from the perspective of the individual agent. When we talk about Featuring properties, photography is going to be top of the game, and video is pretty much neck and neck with it nowadays. Okay, well, excellent. Um, tell us about your second one. <clears throat> so the second one that I referenced was Tim Ferriss. And again, Tim Ferriss is the four-hour work week. The interesting thing with Tim Ferriss, his podcast can go very long. They're at minimum, I'd say, 45 minutes to an hour, and some of them go to two hours. Well, how are you going to listen for an hour or more? That's the trick. He gets so in depth with his uh, folks that he's got interviewing, um, whether it's a health topic, whether it's a business topic or just crazy perspectives in life. Tim has a way to really, really get his um, his guest to just unpack and share and provide insights that you might never have known because you never walked that walk that he's introducing you through. So that's one of the components that I really appreciate with Tim Ferriss. And and with Tim, you said the, his podcast could be up to an hour long. Do you kind of, do you yourself and your learning preference, do you sit there and listen to the whole thing in one shot? Or do you say, I'm going to listen to a 10 minute chunk, or a 10 minute chunk and a 10 minute chunk? How do you, how do you do that? For me, because I'm, I'm going out and walking, that's the ideal time for my podcasts. Uh, a podcast of 45 minutes to an hour is no problem listening to that start to finish. And I actually prefer to, to go through the whole thing. Um, I've also found that, again, when I hit those high notes, those really, really important moments, I'll actually pause it and take a quick note, either audio or type it into my phone, just so I can reference that after I've, I've come back. But yeah, to, to listen to something of that length, it's either when I'm out walking or if I'm in the car on a long haul, that's ideal for me personally. And your third? My third, I'm going to go with Tony Robbins. While everyone is familiar with his name and possibly familiar with what he does, the truth of the matter is if you've not listened to his podcast, maybe you, you, you're not going to pick up a book and read it and spend that, invest that much time. A podcast is going to give you a 
quick 15 minute to one hour introduction. I promise you, he's one of those guys that when you stop and listen to how he delivers and the questions that he asks, the guests, the level of guests that he's got, you'll come away with a very, very new appreciation and probably wind up going back into his old material just to pick up from everything that he's sharing. And that's one of the things I love about Tony Robbins. And, and Tony's been around for a many, many years. I remember him, now I'm showing my age, years ago, I think we have kind of these <laughs> almost infomercials on TV. Right. And it was years and years ago. But that's that's we can talk more about that <laughs> another time. What's your what's your next one, Bruce? Well, from there I'm probably going to go to uh Patrick Bet David. And again, uh, I referenced in a previous podcast um, he is an insurance uh, individual, and that, that's really his market niche. But he grew from a single office into, gosh, I can't even tell you how large um, his company is now, but he is just an amazing individual. His podcast is called Valuetainment Podcast, Valuetainment. Um, and obviously, as you can tell, it's a play on him delivering value through the guests that he's got on, and also simultaneously delivering entertainment because of how he conducts the podcast, what he asks, and providing a level of that that personal introspection that you might not find on a, a strictly business-focused podcast. Check Patrick D uh, Bet David out at Valuetainment Podcast. I think you'll find a topic that you'll love. He covers everywhere from a mafia hitman, believe it or not, to Mike Tyson. And notice there wasn't a business one in there. There's so many more that you can check out yourself. I probably will have to, to look into him now. <laughs> and your last one that, that you told us about, Earl, in the last podcast was called The School of Greatness. School yeah. of Greatness by Lewis Howe. Yes, uh, School of Greatness. Lewis Howe is an individual who had a shot at an NFL career that didn't quite pan out. And then he uh, basically... He, you'll hear him tell you he drifted through life trying to figure out what it was he was going to do and has developed this School of Greatness podcast. Uh, it wasn't just the podcast, it was, it was more so what was the content, the value that he wanted to put forth in the world. And for me, that's an important component. We've referenced it a couple of times. And it's uh, really Lewis talks to individuals that have succeeded at different levels in life. Uh, one of the things I love about it is that when he interviews about success, they always talk about failures because it's very easy. And in this world, people gloss over how many times you fall before you pick up and you're an instant or overnight success. And I'd say a recap of all of these uh, podcasts that I'm talking about. I love that they talk about not just the successes that you see on the instant TV, but really the failures and what got them to where they are now. And I think that the last point that you mentioned about failures, making mistakes, but the key always is to learn from them. And if you learn from them, there some people say it's not really a mistake, it's not really a failure, it's actually a success because you've learned from it. And, and I will tell you as a new consultant, one of the things that I've learned is from my failures, everything from giving myself a corporate name to even the type of business card that I've, that I handed out and I've, I've produced uh, has made a, a huge difference learning from what I did wrong to now. It, it's a huge thing. And it's not a failure. It's actually a success. I've succeeded in bettering myself and bettering my product and bettering what I do. I greatly appreciate you touching on that, Joseph, because um, each of these podcasts, again, uh, they focus on mindset. I, I didn't um, introduce that topic until you brought it up. And it is significant. Mindset means it's not a failure. It means it's it's a stepping stone towards success. And if each one of us, anyone listening to this, if you work on mindset, if you listen to these podcasts, pick one that works for you, you'll find that mindset is a common theme. And it's really focused on not dwelling on failures or, you know, errant steps, but focusing on that self-improvement, the constant never ending learning. And that's what gets us to that next level. Bruce, this has been a, a great conversation with you about the podcast that, that you listen to, that you learn from, and, and the things that you get out of it and what our, our, our listeners should be also learning about successes and failures and learning from your failures slash mistakes. Bruce, I'd, I'd like to take this opportunity to really thank you for being with me uh, at this podcast and the last two podcasts. 
But if, if a listener wants to get a hold of you to ask you to represent them as a buyer or to help you sell their, their house, how do they, they get a hold of you? Well, I thank you for having me on the podcast and being able to share what I've, I've picked up. Um, you can reach me via email, bruce at rlahre.com, bruce at rlahre.com, or via my cell text or call 202-491-2494. And if you wish to learn more about A Fool for Learning or wish to contact me um, to assist you and your organization with a learning solution, please visit my website at afoolforlearning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO and uh, Corporate Learning Consultant of A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, learn, perform, succeed.